This is the engine lube oil system of the diesel locomotive. In WDM2 locomotives, forced lubrication system is used for engine lubrication. Lube oil makes a thin layer of oil between the various moving parts of the diesel engine due to which these moving parts do not get rubbed. Also, this layer of oil lessens the frictional force created between the moving parts. Lube oil system meets the following aims. It cools the various parts of the pistons, cylinder heads and the bearings. It prevents the surface of the engine parts from getting damaged, rubbed and rusted. It cleans the different parts of the engine. And lastly, it increases the age of the moving parts of the engine. A dipstick is located between the 4th and the 5th crankcase cover on the right side of the engine block. Before starting the engine, check that the level of lube oil in the engine sump is correct. As the engine is started, lube oil pump gets driven from the extension gear of the crankshaft fixed on the engine and starts working. Lube oil pump sucks the lube oil from the engine sump and sends it to the discharge line by increasing its pressure. In the discharge line, lube oil relief valve is fixed which is always set on 9 kg per centimeter square. This relief valve sends back the lube oil of pressure which is higher than 9 kg per centimeter square into the sump via the return pipe. From the discharge line, one pipe goes to the right side of the engine block near the crank case cover number 1 and 2 into the centrifugal filter. From where the lube oil returns to the engine sump after getting filtered. The lube oil adjusted from the relief valve comes into the lube oil filter housing. Here the lube oil is filtered through the 8 paper type filters and goes into the lube oil cooler. Both the drain corks of the lube oil filter housing are closed and sealed. When the lube oil filters get jammed and there's a difference of 20 psi in the pressure of the inlet side and the discharge side, then the differential bypass valve between them sends the unfiltered lube oil into the lube oil cooler. In the lube oil cooler, the lube oil, after getting cooled by water, comes in the lube oil regulating valve and the lube oil strainer which is located at the free end of the engine room. The lube oil regulating valve is always set on 6 kg per cm square and keeps the system on the same pressure. If the pressure increases, then the lube oil returns back into the sump through the return pipe. Also, the drain pipe cork of the strainer should be closed. Lube oil, after getting filtered from the strainer, comes into the main header where there are five connections. In the new locomotive, in order to lubricate the turbo supercharger, connection is taken from the inlet pipe of the lube oil strainer. Lube oil, after getting filtered from the turbo filter, lubricates the blower and the bearings of the turbine in turbocharger and then goes to the lube oil sump through the lower left side. The main header is fixed on the lube oil sump of the engine block on which 9 S-pipes are fixed. Through these S-pipes, the lubricating oil comes on the main bearings and lubricates them. Then, the lubricating oil through the holes of the crank shaft lubricates the crank pins and the connecting rod big end bearings. From there, the lubricating oil passes through the rifle holes of the connecting rods 
and lubricates the gusset pins on the small end of the connecting rods. Then the oil comes out from the oil rings of the pistons in between the cylinder liners and the piston. From there, oil gets scratched through the scrap rings and goes back into the oil sump. The second and the third branch from the main header comes to the left and the right side secondary header of the engine. From there, after lubricating the vibration damper and the camshaft bearings comes to the left and the right side engine block of the engine. The lubricating oil now lubricates the valve mechanism through the L pipes via the T connections fitted on the secondary header. Then passes through both the push rods, lubricates the cam lobes of both the inlet and the exhaust and finally returns into the sump. From the T connection of the secondary header, a second pipe lubricates the floating bush and the fuel pump lifter fixed on the cross head and then goes back into the sump. Lube oil flowing through the left and the right side lubricates both camshaft gears fixed on the power takeoff end through the spray nozzles and then goes back into the sump. Now, the fourth connection goes from the left side main header through the OPS to the lube oil pressure gauge. OPS or the oil pressure switch picks up at 1.8 kg per centimeter square and drops at 1.5 kg per centimeter square. Those locos in which Woodward governor is fitted, the fifth connection goes to the governor from the main header. This is the working of the engine lube oil system of the diesel locomotive.